today I'm going to talk about an idea that I want to do for the school year. So I'm in nursing school and I'm in a two year program and at the end of August, so I think it's the 28th, <clears throat> I'll be starting my third semester. And so I thought with all of the happy planner supplies that I have accumulated over the years, that I thought I would try to make a student planner, but a different kind of student planner, more like a student binder. Previously, I have um, used a three ring binder to hold my lecture, PowerPoints, any handouts that they gave me. And then I would have different planners that I would use. I have used a mini planner, I've used a mini recollection planner to try to keep track of the things that I needed to do during the semester, like the reading, just everything that I needed to do. But I thought that why not try to make a binder that will house everything. So this video, it's actually going to be a couple of different ones because I think there's too much stuff to try to fit into one video and I talk a lot. So this video is just going to be me going through what my plan is for this semester to uh, work on a student binder, planner slash binder kind of a thing. This particular one is the big planner, is the big happy planner. I got it on clearance um, at Michael's. So this was kind of the only one that they had. They had another one, but this is the only one that I thought that I liked. So I bought these rings. So these are the expander rings, the metal rings. I'm not quite sure how I feel about these because things seem to turn very difficultly in this, but I needed expander rings. So I'm just gonna kind of talk through what I already put in here. So when I bought this, which was around in May, is the plan was to go over things over the summer. Um, I was gonna try to review farm. So I made these stickers to try to review farm. And one of the things that I had thought to do before I actually bought this, when I thought about doing a student binder was I was just gonna kind of make a calendar page and just kind of make my own. So I stuck that in here. Um, I'm gonna talk about these in a second. So this was my attempt at making a calendar page. So I knew with the Big Happy Planner that it took eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I thought, hey, that would be easy to make. So this was my attempt, first attempt at making just a calendar page because I thought that I would just make a, just a calendar page. So I did for the month of May and I was writing in here the things that I wanted to go over and then just decorated it a little bit with some washi tape down here, some stickers and, um, these are habit tracker stickers from the sticker rolls. So, but then when I did this, and I think I did June as well. No, I just did May. And then that's when I thought, let me just go get an actual happy planner. So I just stuck this in between the pages. These stickers here was me testing out making stickers for the month. Because I'm starting to learn in my whole happy planning aspect of my life is that I'm a monthly planner more so than a vertical. Um, like, I, I don't know what to do with these. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a vertical planner. I have tried many, 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 many times and I just, I can't. My brain does not function with these. But anyway, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna jump all over the place, let's just be honest. So that's what these stickers were. Um, so this was me planning, uh, creating stickers to put into the monthly box. This page was, I use, I have a mini version of this. So this is from the actual trendsetter planner. I have the mini version and I did buy the big one for this. So in the mini version, as you can see here is I was keeping track of, um, things that I needed to do that day, like what I needed to study, what I needed to read. So I knew that I wanted to do this in this student binder that I'm creating. So I just took one of the sheets from the trendsetter that I didn't use and put it in here. Um, 
and then into June. So this is what June looked like using the stickers that I created. Um, I bought the sticker book for the boxes and put them there to keep track of what I needed to read here. And again, this was kind of my review of what I was gonna do over the summer. These over here were, um, again, the habit tracker stickers. These were what I was gonna keep track of each week of the flashcards that I was gonna study. So that was that. And then, again, because I like the trendsetter, I created this, but then I ultimately ended up buying the trendsetter. So I didn't do anything in July because my schedule kind of changed in my life where I just wasn't able to review it like I wanted. So I did stick the trendsetter and I didn't use it in July. So this one's actually going to get moved and then have August. So school starts the 28th and I am going to decorate this page. So in another video, I'm going to show you me decorating this page with the stickers I created for the month for the big happy planner and um, decorating this as well and then filling out the daily to do's. So the second part in here is going to be for school. So we get um, a, a calendar that they give us for school that has everything. So that's going to go onto this tab that says schedule. And But I also create a schedule. So this was the review schedule that I had made for the summer. I make one every semester of pretty much laying out the entire year of what I need to read, what lectures we're going to have, things like that. So that's what these pages are. So that's what that section is. And again, like I said, these don't turn very well. This tab is the notebook section and this, these dividers is just scrapbook paper. And I have um, a memory keeper tab maker. It's the one to make a file to make folders, but if you cut the paper in um, a small sheet and then just cut it, you can actually make tabs. So that's what I did. Um, and then just tacked it to regular. I didn't laminate or anything like that, just left it the way that it is. So this is my textbook notebook section. I made these lines. So I made this paper on the computer, but now that Happy Planner came out with the Happy Notes, I don't have to do that anymore, but I have a couple of sheets here. So this, these were gonna be what I used to take notes out of my textbook. So as you can see, I was taking notes out of the textbook on this. So that's what that this section is going to be. There is a website that's called um, R. Oh, I forgot it. It's R. N. Something. Ugh, I can't remember. I'll put the description in the, the name of the description box. But it's a woman who posts things. Um, has a website for nursing stuff, and she has a section for NCLEX review. And so I was going to use that to go over things that I needed to work on. So I was doing diabetes and hypertension and things like that. So I was just printing out what she has on the website and putting them in here. So I probably will still leave this section, but I'm going to make one for my uh, PowerPoints. But again, it's pretty easy. And the reason why I like this is because I use a happy punch and I can just take everything out really easy and put it back when I need it or where I need it without, you know, popping open a three ring binder. And uh, so that's what this section is. Then drug tables, cause I will be doing farm. So, and we are given drug tables that we have to write on for, take notes on. So that's what this section is. So it's the drug tables. And then this last section is, um, turn it this way so you can see it. It's a concept map that I created to try to create, um, keep track and study disease processes. So that's what this is. So that's going to be in the back there. And then the rest of this is just the rest of the, the month. And so that's going to be what this is. So my, like I said, the idea is going to be to just have um, one big binder, planner binder, 
to keep track of everything that I need for school. So like I said for, we'll go into August and I'll just talk August. So the idea is gonna be is that I'm gonna decorate the month of August, use the stickers that I created to put down the days that I have lectures, the days that I have clinicals, the days I have lab. Um, I am gonna put my work schedule in here as well. Pretty much just everything that's school related. So tests that I have, um, papers that might be due, things like that. And then this trendsetter section or the daily to do section. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this habit tracker. Um, I might do something different. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but you know, the monthly goals I like to keep track of to write out monthly goals that I want to do for school. Think checklist things that I need to remember for there. I, in the past have used this to write a motivational quote. I will probably still do the same thing. Same thing down here in this note section, things I want to get done. Um, for the daily to-do section, I am going to go ahead and number it like I have in the past with my mini, and I really like doing it that way. And then in this daily to-do, what I will be keeping track of is what I need to read that day, what I need to study that day, what the lecture topic was going to be, things like that. So that is my plan for this. I don't know. I. I have high hopes for it. I think it's gonna work out the way that I think that it will. This way, I'm only going to be bringing this with me to school because it's gonna have everything that I need. It's gonna have my planner and it's gonna be my binder. And so that's why like, I have this cover here because I was going to make, I was making one. So this was actually the cover of before I bought the planner. And then so this section will just be the things for school. So like I said before, my schedule, my notes um, for textbook, I'm gonna add another tab um, for my uh, lecture PowerPoints, the PowerPoints I print out for lectures, I'll have a tab for that. And just many other miscellaneous things that I might need. And so that's gonna be my plan. So I'm actually kind of, excited about this. So like I said, I'm gonna make some videos um, about decorating this and all the things that I'm gonna be putting in there. So I am going to make a dashboard with notepads on there, um, the sticky notepads. I got some, uh, a plastic folder, no. Uh, plastic pouch from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to show you how I'm going to punch that and put that in here to hold some stickers and some other things. So this thing's going to more than likely become monstrous pretty quickly. Uh, but it's just something that I'm going to try. And so I'm going to tr try to be diligent about making videos about it. It might not be every week. Uh, it'll do some updates about it if you guys are interested to know. Um, I'm trying to think what else, but yeah, because if anybody who watches this is in nursing school or, or knows anybody that's in nursing school, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that we have to do. So I just wanted to try to come up with something. And I just felt like that using the big planner is going to work better because of the fact that it is the punch is made for eight and a half by 11, which is a lot of the paper that I print out for school, like the PowerPoint notes is eight and a half by 11. So I like the idea of just punching those and just popping them right in there and having them with me and only having to bring this with me. So this is going to be my life. I might change the cover. I haven't decided yet. I actually, I know I'm going to change the cover. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to change the cover. So the next video is going to be about me decorating it. I don't know if that'll be the next one. I am going to, I'm going to do one video about decorating it and I'm going to do one video about setting it up of adding the things into it. So if you are interested, I will 
add the links into the description bar for all the other ones and let me know if you're interested. Let me know if there's something that you want to see more of or see the process by by giving me like a thumbs up or making a comment in the comment section if this is something that you want to see my process and how it's working for me throughout the school year. I personally really, I, I have, I'm optimistic about it. I really do think this is going to work out. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for other videos. Thanks. Bye.